Hey there, welcome to a brand new episode of Music Express. My name is Twan and in this week's vlog you will see my interview with Serge Raamakers about the Sound of Sea by the Confettis. Enjoy! Serge Raamakers is a Belgian based DJ and producer. He was already interested in music from an early age. When he was around 16 years old he started with DJing. And not long after that Serge already started to play at many famous Belgian clubs. But besides playing records, he was also busy in his studio producing music. During the years, Serge produced tracks for many different acts such as Teaspoon, Cartouche, Two Boys, The Max, Dixie's Gang, Orion 2 and many, many others. Together with Dominic Sos, Serge is also responsible for The Sound of Sea by The Confettis. A track that came out back in the year 1988. It became one of the very first commercial new beat releases ever. So, a good reason for an interview with Serge about this classic. My first question to him was if it is true that the Sound of Sea actually started as a joke. Yes, it started as a joke. Um, I was uh, talking with uh, the owner of the club at the time and he said, uh, well, you have uh, the whole bunch of uh, equipment at your uh, home. Why don't you make yourself a new beat track uh, instead of buying uh, all those tracks and searching for special tracks in all the record stores? He said, make a song for uh, uh, Krisha, my wife, uh, the sound for Krishi. And uh, I changed it in the sound of C then because Krishi, uh, Sounds a little bit too strange for me, so I made it the sound of C. So can you tell us a bit more about the production process of the track? Well, uh, I went uh, back home that uh, Sunday afternoon, around 3 o'clock in, uh, in the afternoon, and uh, I started playing and Sound of C was born. Two hours later I went back to the club with the demo of Sound of C uh, on, uh, on a cassette and the DJ played the song and uh, the whole crowd went mad and the, the same evening I went uh, DJing in High Street and I played the song myself too and uh, I got the same reaction and after High Street closed uh, we all went to uh, Boccaccio and uh, we gave the tape to Olivier and he played this, uh, the Sound of Sea for the first time uh, in the temple there and uh, the whole crowd went mad and uh, he refused to give back the, the cassette tape at the time. So it was made in like two hours time? It was made in two hours time. Um, we changed the, um, the voice because actually in the beginning it was my voice and uh, the DJ of uh, Confettis after uh, we uh, redid, redid it. Okay. Um, what kind of equipment was used for the track? Uh, the equipment I used was a MC500, the micro composer sequencer of uh, Roland. Uh, we had the bass coming from a Yamaha DX7. Uh, we had the um, lead synth uh, coming from a Alpha Juno 1. Uh, the flute came from a Roland uh, D50. Uh, also like the special noises at the end in the beginning um, and then a laser drop uh, coming from the SH-101 from Roland uh, the drums we sampled from a record called uh, Jack to the Opera House uh, which uh, used the typical 909 drums and that was basically it. No, a pad from the Juno 106 from Roland also, and that was it. Yeah. You still have some of the old equipment? Yeah, I still have my Alpha Juno 1 and uh, my Juno 106. Um, so were you inspired by other tracks when you were working on the Sound of Sea? No, not, not really. Um, it was something that came out, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, you already told, told the story that it was yeah, you put it on a cassette tape and uh, Oliver Peters didn't want to return the, the cassette tape. Um, so what happened after that? Um, well, we we uh, we didn't stop playing the song in the clubs, and uh, I think a few months later we got a call from USA Import, uh, and the wife asked me, uh, "You're playing a song, The Sound of the Sea. Uh, can you give me some more information? Because we got a huge demand in the in the shop for the for that record." I said, "No, uh, there is no, because I made it myself, and it's sort of a joke." 
and then uh, the conversation stopped and I think another three months later I got the same uh, phone call again and uh, uh, Free said and Jose, the, the owners of the label said, uh, well, we have to, to uh, have a meeting because uh, we got such a huge uh, demand still going on and um, we have to release the record. So we went uh, to US Import and made a deal. And a few weeks later, uh, Sound of Sea was on record. And we always said, well, when we sell 5,000 copies, we're going to laugh out loud and uh, we're going to eat with the, the earned money. And uh, but the first delivery was already 7,500 copies, and uh, after a week it was all sold out. Oh, wow. and do you have an idea how many copies have been sold altogether? I think in Belgium alone, from the sound of seal, it must be like 140, 150,000 copies. It's not bad for something that started as a joke. No, no, no. Yeah. Um, so, when was the idea born to make an actual act that would perform on stage? I think it was born a few weeks later because uh, uh, everybody was in the club was playing the, so the, the, the Sound of Sea, but the radios refused to play it. And it was a long process um, before we got uh, recognition from the national radio stations because it was so big that it, they couldn't ignore it any longer. And uh, at the same time, uh, we got another uh, demand for. Uh, performances in clubs so uh, we made a group for dancers and Peter the front so some of the die-hard new beat fans weren't too happy with uh, the confettis they said it was way too commercial and not good for the new beat scene and did you get a lot of negative feedback in that time or was it mostly positive well the reactions were mostly positive because uh, when is something getting commercial it started all as an, as an underground because the, it was the most underground clubs in Belgium, the most underground scenes, they were playing Sound of Sea because it was a must play record. If you didn't play the song, you were not a good DJ. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and then because it was so good, it made a crossover and it got commercial, yeah. So the Confettis were performing a lot in Belgium, uh, but were there also a lot of shows outside of Belgium? Yeah, they toured in uh, Scandinavia, in Germany, in Switzerland, in France. They were very big in France as well. Huh. In England, in Spain, all over Europe. Yeah. So did you join them sometimes? Uh, once, and that was more than enough. Uh, <laughs> one of their first gigs in France, and also when we got the Golden Record uh, Platinum uh, uh, record, of uh, 350,000 copies sold of the album in France. Yeah, it was madness, it was yeah. madness. Okay. So how important has the Sound of Sea been for your career as a DJ and producer? Uh, well, it started with... Sound of Sea was actually our second record because the first uh, record was Foolish Mind, Trip to Africa. And we sold about, I think, 7,512 uh, inches and another 10,000 uh, singles uh, on vinyl at the time. Uh, and Sound of Sea was our second uh, release. And um, we had also our side project uh, called The Max, uh, which was very popular and very, very big. Um, yeah, and it, it, was, it was a rush. Yeah. All of a sudden, uh, re remix requests came in, and yeah. Um, what are you working on these days? Uh, these days, I'm working a lot of different, different stuff, uh, producing and uh, writing and go uh, ghost writing a lot of tracks for uh, DJs. Um, do a lot of recordings for new artists. Uh. Okay. So, is there still something on your bucket list, music-wise? Mm. Not really. You did everything already. No, but it's yeah. What I would like to remix is a song of Deepesh Mode, "Leaving Silence" or something like that. But yeah. Okay. And the last question: Pineapple on pizza? Yes or no? Depends which pizza. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much for your time and good luck with everything. Thank you. Alright, that was it, this week's vlog. My interview with Serge Raamakers about the Sound of Sea by the Confettis. Serge, thank you very much for your time, much appreciated. 
Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, leave a comment in the comment section below and make sure to subscribe. If you want to know more about the history of dance and house music in Belgium, then I would definitely recommend this documentary. The Sound of Belgium, it's a really, really good documentary. Plus, if you want to know more about New Beat in Belgium, then I would recommend this book. I will add uh, purchase links to both the book and the DVD in the video description. Um, I also did another interview with Serge. That one is gonna be about Feel the Groove, a track which he did under the project name Cartouche. That interview should be online in a few weeks from now. So keep an eye out uh, for that one. Once again, thanks for watching and until next time, bye bye.